Hi, my name is Daryl Lee. Um, I'm vice president of Team SoCal Driven, and uh, this is my 2008 Infiniti G37. Um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, an exotic name for it like Greg Geisha, who uh, belongs to James Shiflett, the previous team member that was featured. Um, but it's it's had some unique names dubbed by certain people in my life. Um, I've had some of my team members clown me for you know calling a unicorn with some of my previous setups. Um, you know, my team president now refers to it as the Smurf Mobile, and even as far as my girlfriend's family calling it Blue Rocket. So whatever floats your boat works with me. So. I picked up this car back in February 2011, so it's been a little over three years now. And what seemed to be, you know, oh, a cool car, just something that, you know, I really wanted and just had for pleasure turned into something totally unexpected. So the original intent when I first got this car was just to have fun showboat to my friends like oh look i got you know a g37 and just feel boss with it pretty much um and pretty soon after that you know the mod bug hit and it bit really really hard um like most people the first couple mods were drop exhaust and wheels but i was first starting college so i didn't have the necessary funds so i went through a period where you know I did the whole plastic dip stuff. Very embarrassing when I talk about it now, but whatever. Um, and then I, I hit a point with the car where I was like, man, you know, I'm not really happy with how it sits. Um, so I decided to completely start over. Um, I took off all the plastic dip, and I, you know, it, it embarrasses me to this day talking about it. Um, but you live and learn, right? So. Uh, after that, I soon uh, picked up a set of gram lights um, off a really good deal I found on the forum, and that's that's when everything happened. Soon after the gram lights, I picked up an HKS exhaust and started my way um, to where the car sits today. So um, shortly after picking up those two mods, I got in touch with Team SoCal Driven, and I thought, wow, this is really really cool. You know, I've never had a group where we all shared the same interests, the same goals. And I guess that was something that um, I really wanted to be a part of. So I figured, hey, my car is not really up to par, but I would, uh, I'd give it a try. So I applied, they invited me out to one of their team barbecues, and that's where I really got to know some of the major members at the time. Um, Shortly after that, you know, I got accepted to be a part of the team and Mod Wars, Mod Wars began. Um, we'd, always, we'd always have our private forum um, where we would compete with each other, um, you know, to see who can one-up each other, basically. And to this day, it stays. It stays pretty interesting. I can say that now we have a little horsepower war brewing within the team. Um, so that's cool. Um, what else? You know, as far as uh, team bond goes, you know, we try to make it out to every single uh, car show, every major meet, every show, basically, and we try to represent. Um, but enough of the team. More on the car. Soon after joining SoCal Driven, like I said before, the Mod Wars began and the cars started to reach a whole nother level. Um, most of the people that know me, as far as my teammates go and friends, know that I can't stay with one setup for, I don't know, probably three months. So ever since joining SoCal Driven, it's, it's been a constant change. It went from the wheels to the exhaust, uh, went with an intake. Soon after that, I realized, man, I'm not low enough because these guys are giving me crap for being 4x4 status. So, quickly picked up coils, dropped the car, um, wasn't completely settled on height, so toyed with that for a little bit, got a front lip, um, then realized, you know, man, my front is done, now I need to take care of the sides, so went with the side skirts. At the time, I believe it was the Aero IPL side skirts. 
and then realizing, okay, I got the front and the side done, now the rear looks stupid high. So I gotta do something to take care of the rear, so I got um, a diffuser uh, to pair with my exhaust. Now at that point, I thought I was pretty close to done. I had pretty much everything, but of course, being a part of Team SoCal Driven with the high standards that we have for one another and you know, constantly pushing each other past the limit, um, I realized it's not good enough. So I want to say maybe after two months of my setup with, you know, after switching to a, the new sport bumper at the time, I realized at a show, man, this looks too stock. You know, it, it doesn't stand out. Uh, so I quickly tried to, uh, tried to change all that. And again, that's when the car uh, reached another level. So that's when I decided, you know, I really want to set a goal in mind as to uh, the particular next phase for the car. And for that, I focused on authenticity and one of the, you know, being one of the G owners who had the best of the best in terms of parts. So what had happened was uh, I met a friend who at the time was parting out his G, completely done up. And I was lucky enough to be able to pick up his Zeely front bumper and Zeely side skirts, which are currently on the car. Um, with them being out of Japan, probably one of the most expensive aero components that you can get for the G, I figured this is perfect to start my complete rebuild of the car. And along with that, I picked up a top secret uh, diffuser originally made for the 350Z. And to fit that, that required custom brackets and everything else. So once I finally got the bumper and the sides and the diffuser on, um, I finally felt happy, but of course, I had to change the wheels because the current setup at the time was not, you know, pleasing me enough. So I opted to go with the Work Genosis GS20. Now, with that particular setup, I decided to go full on function um, with running 285s in the rear and all that jazz with the diffuser. Um, so it was, a, it was definitely a good setup. It definitely made me feel um, really good with how the car was sitting. Um, you know, taking it to the local shows, I'd always get comments here and there, feedback, and it, it, it felt good. Um, and then, Shortly after um, came another point uh, with the G where I figured, hey, I'm kind of getting complacent here, it's kind of boring, maybe it's time to switch it up again. So the first thing to go were the wheels, the Work Genosis, which I eventually moved for the Work VSXX. And when I got my set, or when I got my hands on a set of those, I was like, you know what, I've never tried stance movement so I figured I'd give that a try and with the uh, particular set of VSXX that I was able to pick up um, I figured this is perfect you know low offsets um, the stance that I had envisioned for the car would be awesome so what ended up happening was I ended up sending the wheels in to get powder coated a gloss white face with gold rivets um, ending up stancing the car which I think at the end, you know, my rear camper was about negative four offset and my my front was about plus zero. Um, but, you know, going through that stance thing, I had to sell a couple things, um, such as the top secret diffuser because riding around static, you know, with how low I was, I just, I didn't want to mess that thing up or anything of the sort. So I got rid of it. Um, and to this day, I still kind of regret it because that was probably one of my favorite pieces for the car. Um, sadly, I can only say I stuck with that VSXX setup for about two weeks um, because I got picked up by my current sponsor, Ace Alloy Wheel. Um, and how that ended up happening was they had a casting call um, to introduce their new line of wheels called AMF Forge, which are one-piece forged wheels. Um, so I ended up being one of the winners that they chose for their Forge line and the current wheels are that are on the car are still the sponsored set um, and from then you know I thought um, it, it was done with you know I got 
new wheels, you know, I went through a whole bunch of different setups and slowly my my um, my goals for the car were being met and I didn't feel the desire anymore to want to keep pushing through with it but you know through this sponsorship with Ace Alloy Wheel this car actually ended up uh, being a part of the SEMA 2013 which uh, which I consider a pretty big milestone for the car um, in addition to other unique features um, around the web um, making it into a, a you know a, a Japanese magazine I forgot the uh, title of but it was actually for work wheels themselves um, so this car has definitely come a long way and shortly after being picked up by Ace Alloy Wheel I got picked up by um, a company called Lightspeed Racing um, who manufacture exhaust um, intakes for the Z's and the G's um, so they actually hooked me up with a full titanium cold air intake which meant you know now I had to start doing work for the engine bay as opposed to just sticking with the exterior unfortunately I already parted everything out from the engine bay um, but to give you guys a little like uh, insight as to what was done is the titanium intakes from Lightspeed Racing, um, custom painted engine covers, gold titanium dress up bolts, um, down to the hoses, you name it. Uh, pretty much everything was done in lieu for SEMA 2013. Um, so shortly after SEMA I decided, you know, um, I think I've hit the end of the road for the G. So I decided to part out the engine bay and maybe start the part out process and then um, slowly I, I realized like man I don't think I'm completely over it so um, little things here and there picking up JDM amber tail lights switching out my motor lux carbon fiber trunk for a discontinued JDP carbon fiber spoiler just changing the looks up enough where people would be able to notice and give the car just a little bit more of an aggressive uh, look. I upgraded the to the uh, the stock sport uh, Akibono big brake kit with Concept Z, Concept Z drilled slotted rotors with stainless steel brake lines. Um, so pretty much uh, now, you know, the car is my daily driver. I daily drive this thing, you know, everywhere I go. Um, but as for what the future may hold for this car, um, I can't, I can't really say. Um, unfortunately, I'm starting to see the uh, light at the end of the tunnel for this car. Um, the plan is to hold on to her for uh, a couple more months and then test the market and uh, and see what's really out there. Um, but it's definitely been a great ride. Uh, something I won't forget, something that's led to many, many friendships formed, and uh, we'll, we'll see what the future holds. But until now, if you ever spot me on the road, wave hi. You know, it's, it's always cool to meet new people, and if you have any interest in joining Team SoCal Driven, don't hesitate to send an email to socaldriven at yahoo.com. We're always looking for new members, and uh, to us, it's all about the people. It's all about the good times. Um, and that's all that should matter. Um, once again, my name is Daryl Lee. This is my 2008 Infiniti G37. Um, that's all. <laughs>